Hey, what is going on? Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can download Instagram into your Mac. So, let's get started. So as I said at the beginning of the video, I'm going to be showing you how you can download Instagram for Mac. So this is called Photoflow 1.2 and this is for Instagram. It's not the best Instagram app for Mac, but if you click download, this link will be down in the description. So let's just wait for it to download and I'll be right back. Alright, so it's done downloading. So you want to double click it and let's wait for this to load and now Let's open this window and click Photoflow into your applications. Now you want to open up Launchpad and it will take a second to load, so I just switch pages for a second and there we go, Photoflow is in our Launchpad, so let's click open. And as you can see, this is a normal Instagram uh, layout, so this is pretty cool. Um, it's not the best Instagram app, as I just said, you can't really post into Instagram. But anyway, it's pretty cool, here's my profile if you want to follow me on Instagram. Uh, I didn't post anything yet, but um, yeah, this is pretty cool. So it doesn't really look cool because the icon is not the Instagram icon. But if we go back to our Google Chrome and we search up a new tab, images to icons. Let's just type in images to icons. And now this first link that appears is going to be an app that can transform icons into icons for your applications. So if we scroll down here, as you can see, it's just available for free on the Mac App Store. So if you click on it, it will start downloading. And uh, meanwhile, we can open a new tab and search for the Instagram logo. And now uh, go to images and click maybe the first one or the second one. The second one is better, so you want to drag this to our desktop. And now let's double click it and open it with preview. And now if we click the suitcase right at the top, it will give you this settings. If you click the selection tool, you can click and drag and this uh, red border will come and then you can press delete and then press enter to convert. And now you can press command S to save and let's close it. Now as you can see we got the Instagram logo so let's close this tab and wait for image to icons to finish downloading. Alright, now image to icons has finished downloading, you want to double click it and it will open. Let's drag this to our desktop, we don't need to install this app. And now let's double click it and it will show us this menu. So let's click open and as you can see you want to drag your Instagram logo inside this. And as you can see you have a few settings but you want to click export. And you want to say ICNS which is icons. And now you want to choose your desktop or wherever you want and then click say icon. Now we'll be in your desktop, so let's quit this image to icons app. And now you wanna quit Photoflow as well. Now let's go to Finder and to your applications and click on Photoflow, then click get info. And as you can see, it'll open this menu. So you wanna drag the Instagram icons into the Photoflow logo up top. And now if we click uh, name and extension, you can delete Photoflow name and write Instagram. So let's write Instagram. And then press enter and now close this uh, menu. Now let's close Finder as well and open up Launchpad. And as you can see, it will change the name into Instagram. And now Instagram will open up and it will be just like the normal Instagram. So, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please, please leave a like, comment, favorite, and share. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video.